he was uh, faced with two Chinese robbers. One is uh, aiming gun behind him and the other one is in front of him. He fought back. Uh, first shot, second shot missed both of them. But the third shot, he was hit from his back straight to his spinal. Madame Noor Ayn's late father was paralyzed after being shot by communist gunmen in 1950. This is one of many stories painting the violent picture of Singapore's struggle against the Communist Party of Malaya, or CPM, in the fight for independence. Today, those who braved the turbulent period are honored with a new memorial marker. The marker, which sits at the Esplanade Park, was unveiled by former President S. R. Nath. In my heart, I really thank for this ceremony, at least recognition for him, you see. It was a terrible period in the history of Singapore. Over the news, we hear incidents happening, you know, um, murders taking place, riots, strikes. The marker pays tribute to the 8,000 people who were killed or wounded in Malaysia and Singapore and also to those who sacrificed themselves for the safety of Singaporeans. For the older generation is a memory. For the younger generation is a very good reminder our peace, our security cannot be taken for granted.